Welcome to my place. Don't you just hate it when you draw the short straw and you are asked to come to a dinner or for drinks and you have to bring the entree. Do you know how much an entree or nibbles cost? You can't just take one cheese, you've got to take three cheese. And then there's the sun-dried tomatoes and the olives and all of those lovely things that you get from the deli that are so expensive. Well, I have worked out a wonderful recipe that is so easy, it's really delicious and everybody loves it. So what you need are six hard boiled eggs, which I've got here, I've already mashed five, and I use the trusty potato crusher here to do this because it just makes life so much easier. You also need a little bit of butter into there, we'll put that to one side, not too much butter because we've got to watch our hips. A little bit of salt and pepper go into there, a little bit of salt. Think about your seasoning too, but if you've got heart disease or a condition with um, uh, high blood pressure, just careful about your salt. But anyway, food doesn't taste very nice without salt. So anyway, give that a good mush up like so until it is completely almost pulverized. From there, you need to find yourself a dish. And what we're going to do is we're just going to push that into the base of the dish like so. I love eggs. And I think that, you know, there was a whole thing in the 80s where we weren't allowed to eat eggs because they were ooh, like really bad for us. Nonsense, I think they're great. Right, put that into there, put that into there. I need a spoon, which I should have got out before I started, however, I didn't, but that's okay. Right, you need to push this into here as flat as you can and as compact as you can, like so. You'll probably get your hands into there, but I can't be bothered doing that today when I've got a spoon. Get rid of that. Now, the next little tip is really vital. You actually need to cover this with some plastic wrap and then that really needs to sit in the freezer for about 10 minutes until it's really hard. However, I haven't got time for that, so I'm just gonna leave that there for a minute and we'll go on to the next little topping that goes with it. Right, here I have got some sour cream. I bought the one that had the chives in it because, well, it had the chives in it. Now I just thought, well, why not? So we'll put that into there like so. And then over here I have got some more chives and then I've got a little bit of dill, and the other thing that I've got is some lemon zest. And you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, that's a bit rough. Doesn't matter about it being rough and a little bit sort of like shreddy like that because there's nothing worse than fish breath when you're out and about. Okay, give that a stir around and a little bit more pepper as well into there because I love pepper. And for those of you who want to have nice, good blood, you get looking, do the research into pepper, but I'll come back to that in due course. Okay, let's imagine that that has been in the freezer. Lift that off like so, and I now need another spoon. And what we're going to do is just very carefully, and you'll understand about now why it's actually important to have that partially frozen or nice and cold and set before you go any further. Don't waste a thing, get all of that out of there. I'm sorry I'm making such a bit of a clunky noise, but that's just how it is. Okay, I'm just gonna have to be very, very careful as I push that around there because the egg will lift and we don't want our layers looking all a bit separated. Right, from there into here, I have got some salmon that's been smoked and that we tip, what I do is I put it into the freezer, when I buy it, I put it in the freezer and then I cut it when it's still frozen and then you get these lovely, lovely, lovely little wee chunky bits. I used to, when I started doing it, put the shreds of salmon over it waste of time because when you go to dip into it with your bicky at the end of it, oh, it's just it's just too hard, too hard, and you can't get into it. So we're just going to very carefully just sprinkle this onto the top, and I'm going to call this a bit rustic. Yeah, because rustic's good. Rustic for me actually means a bit rough, so we'll put that over there like that and scatter it as far as well as you can. Just separate those wee bits out like so. And then what I have here is, if you're going to really flash, friends, I've got some caper berries, so we're just going to put those into there because not everybody likes capers. Put those into there like so. Drop those on, there's one not, let's not waste, and then put those on the top like so, and a little bit more pepper on top of that. 
put that into the fridge, ready to go. And over here I have got a little plate and I've got some nice little wafer thin biscuits. And when you arrive, all you need to do is walk up to people, here, help yourself. This is how easy it is, but it does need to sort of like, you'd be best to do this like several hours before you're going out. Let me taste that. Oh, that's good. You'll love this. So cheap, so inexpensive and perfect. See you again next time.